It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger Alright, so I'm just on my way to work and uh, it's pretty early in the morning. It's a little bit on the chilly side, hence why I've got the ABW hoodie on today. So, I didn't film anything yesterday, but I did get a couple of things done. The gym, basically waiting for them to change a couple of things um, in the merchandise area and the lounge because they got a couple of things wrong. So, that's all we're waiting on really. I've already started PTing in there, so once that gets done, then I'll be able to open it up to the public. So, it'll be very, very soon. But yesterday I went and bought a couple of pieces of furniture for the lounge. I want to get all that area pretty much done by today. So they're delivering the couch that I bought. So I went to the store and I bought a hectic recliner chair. I was looking at a couple of different options and I was like, do I really need this electric one? And you know, it kicks back and it's got buttons and shit. And then they had one that you just sit in and then like the feet come up and it that was like pretty much the same thing. And then he pulled the middle bit down on the couch and it has two cup holders, two power points and two USBs to charge your shit off and then two lights as well. And if anyone that knows me knows that I love technology. So as soon as he pulled that thing down, I was like, boom, sign me up, sold. I don't care how much it is, let's go. <laughs> so I picked up that couch and they're delivering it very shortly. Um, and then I had to order a TV for the wall um, with the TV brackets, which they're about to deliver as well from the same store so and then we'll be training legs today hopefully tucks rocks up this week yeah i've got to stay hydrated i've already started drinking water my little bro tip to you guys is that if you're going to be doing legs or something big like that make sure from the get-go in the morning you start sipping on that water hydration is key 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 all right anyway i'll check in with you guys in a little bit all right guys i just got to the gym and they delivered the tv already so this is my little setup for the day. Got my office. Until the couch comes, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Brought my computer. I'm gonna punch out all my online programs. Reply to all my emails. The NBN got installed yesterday, but it's not hooked up yet. They got to put the modem in. But at least the wiring and all that's done. So we're gonna have the fastest internet that you can get in the world. In the world. I seriously cannot wait to just kick back on this couch today and punch out my work. I'm not going to leave that couch today. Office has still got a little bit of work to go. This joinery thing is what we're waiting on. All these cupboards and stuff to get installed. And then I'll be able to see how much room I've got in terms of buying a desk. So this is the third time I've had to call the insurance company to try and get the claims forms. I mean, they're real quick to take your money when they want you to sign up. When it comes to making a claim, this is the third time now. They haven't sent me the forms yet. Ridiculous. Alright guys, the couch got delivered earlier today. I have to get a box cutter out and open this bad boy up. And then I'm going to set it up. <sighs> Shouldn't take me too long. He said it's just a couple of pieces that he slapped together. So, I'm going to get at it. So this is not the final positioning of it. I'm just going to move it this way a little bit, but just to give you an idea of what it is, full recliner, open that shit up with the button, boom, full kicks back. Yeah, just trying to make a vlog here, guys. Just, just trying to make a vlog here, guys. <laughs> full recliner, but yeah, it's going to be a good time, ABW parties. Oh, amazing. Alright, about to smash back the pre-workout. I'm going to make sure we do a proper warm-up and stretch because I'm going to go heavier than I did last week on the squats. So I've hit 4x6, 4x7, then 4x8 on 140. Three weeks now. So I'm bumping it up by 5 kilos and we're shooting 4x6 on 145. So that's my progressive overload. Alright guys, just finished doing our warm-up sets, so we did one plate and then two plates. Um, did a little bit of a foam roll and a stretch, so bumping it up straight into the first working set now. Straight away I'm going to do 145 kilos, 
shoot for six reps. If I go more, I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to cap it at that and then try and knock out four sets of six. So that's the plan. See ya. Brothers on the rise now. Woo! Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. Let them boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yelling time out. And for quit it, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now yeah. I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my eyes are so humongous, you were thinking that happens in that. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all that, yeah, I'm all that. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. Wanna do the same thing, yo. That's why we ain't on the same page. Yo. Do my own thing, and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like. Alright, guys. So this week's squats didn't quite hit the numbers. So I got like six, six, and then it was like four plus two, and then the last one I dropped it back to 140, and I went for eight with the drop set on 100, so that's why I'm so out of breath, but at least I got my two heavy sets in at the start, and then kind of peeled it back a little bit and just pushed for those reps, so quads are definitely filling up now, so Tuck's gonna do one more set, and then we're moving on to the the torture machine. Ooh. I didn't want to do walking lunges in here until there was enough room, because I've had shit all on the floor, but I measured it out, plenty of room. This uh, AstroTurf area, was designed specifically for doing these walking lunges. I made sure when I was doing the layout that this was put in there so that we could do this and sled pushes. And this is the first week I've done it and it's sick. So we'll film it. Man, facts, bro. Facts, bro. Lot of haters. Tell me where they at, where they at. I'm the new pop, all I do is rap though. Yeah. Want me on your song, throw a couple steps, yo. Woo. Everybody wanna do the same thing. Yep. That's why we ain't on the same page. No. Do my own thing and I maintain. Woo. Flow like water, so I'm going Mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like yep. water, so I'm going mainstream. Easy, bro. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. It's good to be back. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What happened? Ooh. Moving on to doing our third set on the leg press. What are we doing? Two, four, six, eight plates to set. Just pumping out like higher reps still. 20 reps. Um, controlling the down phase still. So two to three seconds on the down phase. Coming all the way. Well, actually not all the way up. Just before lockout. Oh yeah. Every night, every day, I put my hands together and pray. I won't be long till you come along.
so we just banged out the fourth set on the leg press. So now, instead of going straight into doing leg extensions while our legs are just full of blood, what we're going to do is wait a little bit, hit the calves and the glutes, let the blood clear out a little bit, and that'll allow better contraction through the quads. Otherwise, if you go to a leg extension now, I'd be barely be able to even like, lock out my legs. So I like to hit calves in between, give them a little bit of a rest, and then smash out those hold reps. This one is basically pushing my legs out in front of me and then leaning forward so that I hit this back chunk of the neck, um, calf just behind the knee. And then towards the end, I bend my knees so that I'm just pushing through the bottom half of my calf near the Achilles. So I'm trying to thicken up that triangle bit there. And then boom! Woo! Yeah. Super set this shit. The double plank whammy. I don't think they're ready, bro. Ah, I'm not ready. I don't think they're ready. So with that exercise, basically what I was doing is kind of like a seated calf machine, but I'm coming up, lifting my butt off my calves, I'm holding it there for a split second, and then I lower my butt back down so that my, my hips are basically resting on my calf muscle, and then I drop my heels down. So it's a three-phase movement. I'll just quickly run you through it again. So it's up, drop the hips down, then lower down. Up, drop the hips down, then lower down. Then we can't do that anymore. Just push through the Achilles and the bottom half of your calf. Burn that shit out like, whoa. Oh. Yeah, bro, that's the shot. Right there. Shit. Look what my mum just sent me. Little Millie keeping her warm, she said. I was like, ah, bring her over to my house tomorrow. I miss her. I want that. That warmth in my life. <laughs> Alright, guys, we just finished up doing leg extensions for about five or six sets, and I forgot to film it, so we're gonna do one more. What we did on the last two sets, added a band. To add extra resistance, kind of like what I was doing with my coach the other day, adding resistance on the lat pull downs. So basically, you can do it on a uh, any isolated movement, and it's going to basically just add resistance on the eccentric face, so that when you let go of the weight at the top, it's going to pull you back down, and you're going to keep the muscle switched on and not just relax and then switch off. So adding that extra little bit of a pull through the top of it as well, like even a little bit of a kick, make sure that you hit the quad right up into the hip on this upper half. So I'm actually sitting forward in the seat a little bit too, so that my knee isn't wrapped over the, the end of the bench. And what that does is it hits the quad right up here. Get that detail and the cuts all down the, the rec fem. Alright, so as I was just explaining, I'm not wrapping my knee right on top of this. I'm not sitting back, otherwise it's just going to hit here. I'm actually sitting forward in the seat a little bit and then leaning back. And then what that does is it allows me to basically get a greater stretch. So my heels are coming further back, stretching the quad out even more on this top half of my leg. And then when I bring it up, from here that's where the resistance bands kicks in. Boom! Squeeze! Let it go right under. So see how my he my heels are coming right back behind my bum. If I was to sit upright, they wouldn't be coming as far back. So I want to add detail up here. Yeah, boy. It's yours, bro. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. 
Alright guys, I just got home from doing a quick grocery shop and hitting that 140, 145 today in the squat rack really kind of opened my eyes that I'm not actually training at my full potential and I think it's because I'm not eating right and like I obviously know how to eat right but I'm just not applying that knowledge because I've just been so busy with trying to open up the gym and all that but literally tonight was like an eye opener because I kind of struggled on that 145 I thought I was going to pump out 6 reps, 4 sets easy and I struggled and it, I, it all comes down to not fueling up properly throughout the day. Like I had probably a thousand calories before that training session, if that. So I decided, like I just flicked the switch in my head, I'm gonna start prepping my own food and like getting my meals ready so that everything's good to go. And then that way I'll actually start progressing through my training because I wanna start moving forward. I'm sick of just like staying at where I am and looking lean and not actually going anywhere in terms of my strength and all that. So basically went to the supermarket, these are my carbohydrates. I actually went and bought two packets of white potato, four sweet potatoes, and then four packets of um, this chicken flavored rice. I was gonna get brown rice and white rice, and I just thought, you know what, just get the one that you like, and then that way you'll eat it. I got some turkey mince, two packets, some steaks, and two packets of salmon. So all basic stuff and then mixed berries to put in my um, oat shake in the morning because even that, blackberries in particular are like a superfood. If you have blackberries, it increases like the oxygen delivery to your muscles. It's a little bit technical to get into it, but I remember when I used to be doing my comp prep, so I used to throw blackberries in my shake every morning. And like when I got into that squat rack, I would just like push out 140 and then go straight back down and into the next rep and almost like start pulse repping it and just have that, that energy and like, it's because I'm not covering all these little bases, all the little 1% that I was struggling today, and it, it just made me realize, you know what? Time to get back in the game, son. I wanna grow. So, cooking up a steak now, just a little bad boy, because I'm gonna try and fit in another meal after this, I'm gonna have some salmon. So I'm going hard. Normally I would just have dinner and then go to bed, you know? Three meals, and like, I just that's just not me. I don't know why I've just been like, going easy with the food, but I'm gonna start prepping everything and getting it all ready. So it's it's go time, baby. We're gonna get results. All right, so here's tonight's dinner. 200 grams of steak, 250 grams of rice, and then just a little bit of a side salad. I'm gonna hit this meal. I'm gonna start prepping up all my other meals for the rest of the week, and then uh, I'll show you guys once I've done all that. All right, guys, I'm just doing my meal prep now, so I wanna give you a couple of little tips, all right? First of all, it's with the potato. If you wanna cook sweet potato in bulk, it's really easy. Just clean them, give them a good scrub, put them on a tray with some baking paper on there. Put a little bit of olive oil if you want, and then put some, some herbs and stuff on there, and then just throw it in the oven like that. Over about maybe half an hour, give them a twist, and then they'll be done. Put it in the fridge, put them in containers, and then you just eat them on the date. Bulk cooking turkey mince, beef mince, chicken mince, whatever you want. Put it in the container, put it in a big pan like this. Put a lid over it so that it steams it a little bit. That way it doesn't dry out. And then I'm just gonna chop up some onion and tomato to put in there for flavor. Now, a little trick for chopping onions. If you keep them diced up in the fridge like this, you won't get the onion eye burns, all right? When you're chopping that shit up, it just doesn't hit your eyes if it's been refrigerated. If you chop a fresh onion straight out of the skin, it's gonna cop you in the eye and you're gonna be like, when you're dicing your tomatoes, little tricks of the trade, they're easier to dice if you have a grated knife like this. So either a steak knife or even a bread knife. If you use a sharp flat knife like this, it's going to struggle to break through the skin. So one handed, chop. More grip basically. Just going to add all this in there. Oh, I knew I was going to miss it. No, I can't do this one handed. Alright guys, so I just finished up cooking these four steaks. So what I'm doing is basically just grabbing it with the tongs. Got a pair of scissors, and then I'm just slicing them up into nice thin pieces, and I'm just gonna put them all in this one big container, and that way I can just take out as much as I need on the day, so I'll wait into another container. But the reason I like to put them into nice thin slices like that is just so that it's really nice and tender and easy to consume. I don't even have to worry about getting a knife and fork out to eat it. I just pick at it with a, with a fork, and then that's it. So that's my little tactic when it comes to cooking steaks in bulk. Boom, and there we have it. So, steaks, all done. Put that into one container, and then the turkey mince, I split into four different containers, just 200 grams in each, because that's how much I want. And then I'll just put some sweet chili light sauce on there when I eat it, throw the rice on top. Da -da 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 done. And now, what kind of a meal prep would this be if I didn't spill a shitload of it on the floor? Yeah. Alright. These are pretty much nearly done as well, the potatoes. Woo! Steaming! Time to wash up. Alright, active fam, that's it for today's video. Hope you got a little bit out of those cooking tips. Make sure you try them out, they're really good. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that the gym got completed 
today. Everything's been approved now by the builders. So I've started taking on clients, personal training clients. We're going to push the open day back a couple of weeks from now. Check out these new singlets that I got. The merchandise is coming soon as well. I've got the designs for the new website, so now they're just pushing it into development, which usually takes a couple of weeks as well. So everything will be up and running by the start of June, all right? So we'll, we will be allowing the gym to be open to public visits, but not yearly memberships. It's just to keep it a little bit more private and intimate for our one-on-one -on -one clients. And eventually I'm gonna fill up the gym with a whole lot of personal training. So just to clear that up. It's time for a post notification shout out. So today's shout out goes to Hayden, who said post notifications on, that back is looking like Kobe Bryant's logo. <laughs> Love your videos, bro. Keep them coming. Hashtag Active Fam. So if you guys want a shout out, all you got to do is go to my page, click the bell next to the subscribe button, turn post notifications on, and then just come back and leave me a little comment like that. I'll shout someone out every day, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.